back to Minecraft. All right, what did I say we were gonna do? Yeah, back to it. Um, right, we're gonna redo the farming setup over over yonder so we can get more seeds. I think that's something we just need to do <laughs> to be able to really um, do, do all the things. One thing though I'm realizing though, one thing though that I, one thing I'm realizing is that we can control what kind of seeds we get from the crossbreeding. So if I want oak saplings or oak bonsais, then what I should do is I should look for oak bonsai. There we go. And so of course, if we have, well, I say of course, hey look, if we have acacia and spruce, we can get oak. If we have potato and acacia, oh, there we go. So we do have an acacia crop. If we put potato next to it, you know, one over, uh, then we could get oak. It's like a 2% chance. What is control? Can drop apples, okay. This data is trustable because it expects the impossible perfect condition. This feature is only back to, to an annoying demand. This data is not trustable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we can all we can do is try. So, stick read is something that I I feel like I've heard a lot about from when I've seen people play this. Um I think we just have to try. But I do want to try putting the potato across from the acacia and seeing if we can get oak. That'd be cool. Alright, so we got a bunch of toast sandwiches. Um, okay, let's swap out the sesame seeds, which are so little. I mean, even less because we recently ate it, but very little. Uh, and we'll put those in there. And I'll just drop off the sesame seeds here. There weren't a lot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so uh, almost nighttime. We're just gonna chill here until it's time to sleep and then we'll go over and do some farming. I guess something I'm not prepared for is a blood moon here. But not tonight. All right. One more set of toast sandwiches in the box. And off we go. In the future, there will be faster ways for us to travel. Although I think I said before, one of the things I will likely do in the future with base design is, um, so if we harvest that, we get some front flesh, yep. <laughs> with base design, um, going more vertical, so we can use elevators to quickly tr go up and down, rather than having things laid out horizontally and have to travel around. Is this harvestable? Not yet, no. All right, so this, mallow berries, which we're growing elsewhere anyway. So that's nice and all, but. Uh, okay, so. I 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break all this stuff and I'm going to redo the original layout. Yeah. I think so, except maybe around the bonsai. Do I have potatoes over here? No. Let me get some potatoes. I think I have some growing over here somewhere. Sweet potato, curry leaf, potatoes. Alright, that should be enough. I think maybe I'm able to plant potatoes directly on crop sticks. I'm not sure. But we're going to try. Alright, so can I do this? I can! Alright, awesome. So, my, my plan here is to break everything else, though. Maybe we'll get some uh, seeds. We did. Not unknown seeds, though. Hey, Jake. Welcome in. How's it going? Here we go. We got at least one more unknown seed. Wheat seed. Good, 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 good. Just doing a little farming <laughs> here in uh, in the Minecraft world, making some dinner. But here in the shadows, hey, I appreciate you uh, being here. I need to look up what the uh, the proper layout is for the seed production. Potatoes. We did get a purple glushroom. Whatever that's for. It's from Natura Neon Juice. Is there a use for that? Okay, we can make glushroom stew. If we had three different kinds. Okay, and we can get glowstone dust. So I think at some point we are going to want these. Yep, and Foxy's here too. Uh, so what I want to do though is I want to set up kind of a, a quad crossbreeding setup to see if we can get some oak uh, bonsai trees. Like so, we will probably get a lot of weeds. But we'll see, we'll see. Actually probably the best thing to do here is to not place these until the potatoes are fully grown. Because I don't think we can crossbreed until the both crops are fully grown. All right, and then, so the size of this is um, nine by nine. Let's get another nine by nine area over here to uh, do more farming in. Need to remember to grab the uh, the hoes that I made before that are over in a in a box, and use those up. I do have a new tool that you, you can use to hoe the mattock, uh, which we do want to use, but it's just kind of a waste not to use the tools we already made. All right, um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. There we go. <laughs> yeah. If you're not careful that this brownstone can really just like throw you anywhere, everywhere, all the places. Uh, okay, so if we start in this corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. Uh, of course, that doesn't work, but can we? We can't hoe the podzol, so what we need to do is we need to shovel it, and dig it up, and then we can put the dirt back. One, 
two, well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five is the center. Get some water to put in there. Yep. Let's dig out the rest. One more. Now this here, this part specifically feels very vanilla, right? Let's do some farming. Um, so let's see, what I want to do is I want to look at the quest book, though, because there is a, a way of doing this. Here we go. Farm, farm, farm. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Farm, farm, farm. Now, farm, 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 dirt, 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 farm, farm, farm. Why did, oh, 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 what I did, what I tried to do was more like one, two, three, space, one, two, three, and then it just didn't seem to work. But yeah, this is what we do. This is how we do it. And that way, like this layout, means that the different bits of crop don't interfere with each other and the uh, the water's not in the way of kind of this layout. Oh, that was not what I wanted. There we go. So is this all temperate river? Yes, good. All right, now. What I want to do is get seeds. I think we just turn all the sweet seeds, right? Yeah, there we go. What we don't want to do is like put all the crop sticks down and then go back and put in the seeds. Because by the time we put down all the crop sticks, some of them will probably spawn weeds. So, uh, speaking from, I think that's what happened when we did this over over there um, a couple weeks ago. I think that was. I'm pretty sure that was not the last stream. Oh, night is coming. Now, very much unlike vanilla <laughs> Minecraft farming. I got uh, Regeneration 3 for like two minutes. Alright, so we'll wait for those things to grow and then we'll put the, uh, the crop sticks in between to do some uh, crossbreeding. See what we get. Uh, let's see, this is tier 2, size 2 of 4. You can't see that part because I'm in the way. Two four. Growth twenty six percent. I guess we can we can do some more of the same over here though. Yeah, so we can just do this. Um, and what this is going to allow us to do is make a lot of unknown seeds that we'll be able to use to complete the quest, and then we'll be able to plant and identify, and we'll just generate a lot of different kinds of crops. Um, that we will be able to use in the future for more crossbreeding until we get things we're really after. Like the, the stick reed, I think, is supposed to be really good. And then, you know, the bonsai trees are really great. Uh, 
um, just to be able to get more wood. There we go, max size, optimal harvest. So now we're up to 25 acacia. Just from that one thing. There's a spider over there. But it burned up, alright, that's good. Two of four. Okay. Uh, so this will take a minute. Let's uh, put our farming stuff away and we'll do something else. Plant lens can go in there too. Great. Oh, and. I think there's one thing I forgot to mention. You might have seen it. There's a third head here uh, at the house. I did, um, I fell off the tree again, <laughs> which is the second time I've died from falling off the tree. But there you go. So third head. Okay. Uh, what do? Let's, let's take a look at, yeah, how lovely. <laughs> Um, so we did have that one trophy, the one that got blown blown up, but then we got the second trophy shortly after that. I do want to do like a trophy room. Maybe we can do a head room as well at some point in a in a future base. <laughs> what do I look like anyway? Oh, there's me. Uh, yeah. Skin's not quite right because of, um, it's an older version of Minecraft that doesn't quite support the, uh, the newer style of, uh, Minecraft skin. But it's what it is. Alright, let's take a look at the quest book. So we should... Oh yeah, and then, of course, I did the lunch box, as I mentioned. Uh, we could collect, what do we want? A delighted meal? A Supreme Pizza or a BLT. They're all 3.2%. The Delighted Meal has more variation in things. Hmm, very thirsty today. I think maybe the delighted meal. What even, what even is in that? So that's a deluxe cheeseburger, fries, and a smoothie. <laughs> that's a delighted meal. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Bam. Put those coins. Hmm. Excuse me. Put those coins away. And then we have some uh, good food. Oh yeah, definitely saturation. Look at that. Look at it. look at how the uh, the haunches highlight. <laughs> All right, we'll be eating some of that. That's that was a good reward actually for a thing I did uh, between streams. Uh, we'll come back to that. And there's some other stuff we could do here, like utility stuff. Like there's this thing for doing. Um, an XP drain to be able to store our XP. We just need to not die. <laughs> what does it take to do the drain? Uh, just some iron, right? And then a seared tank. Can I make another seared tank? Oops. There we go. So I did, that reminds me of another thing that I did. I did find a source of lava because I need a lot of, you know, I was processing a lot of materials to get ready for this stream. So I made some more tanks. In addition to the one we had, I made three more. And then I went and I found a source of lava over over yonder. Well, maybe we'll see it. We're, we're running kind of low. But do I have... I do. Let's make one more seared tank. And let's do the XP drain stuff. I think that'll be a good thing to do. 
Um, so it wanted me to make a sear tank, which looks like that. All right, that'll be handy to have. And then uh, an XP drain, which is a bunch of iron, and iron bars, which is iron rods. Each of these is an ingot, so that's like six ingots, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so 14 ingots of iron. It's actually not a lot at this point. I've pretty much drained all the metals out of here except for some odds and ends, but that's because they're over at the at the treehouse. <laughs> I was just thinking it would be like that would look really cool if we if we cleaned up the terrain on either side of the path and planted uh, fruit trees along the way. Wouldn't that be nice? I was thinking of that because I saw the, the one fruit tree right there. And there's one there as well. Yes. <laughs> there There is so many different kinds of fruit in this uh, from Pam's Harvest Craft. And so we could, we could do a lot of things. Um, what I want to do right now is make some more toast sandwiches. And eat one, because I don't think I ate one. Maybe I did. Oh, twice. Okay, so I did eat one once. That's fine. No harm. Um, and then we're gonna make the XP drain. So we need iron. So I have almost a full stack of iron, 63 iron here. And I have 164 bronze ingots. So that, that was what I was working on in the couple of dozen hours. Maybe, I don't know, probably around 20 hours, 15, 12, I don't know, however many hours it was. <laughs> How many iron did I say that I needed? Ooh, a Porygon too. It's in chat. He wants to do that IRL, planting some fruit trees. Yeah, when I, um, when I lived in Oklahoma long ago, I, uh, we planted a cherry tree in our backyard. Uh, and then we moved away. So, <laughs> who knows if it's still there, if it survived, what happened to it. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just need all of these into rods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we need screws. Hey, Brainless, how's it going? Welcome in to the Minecraft stream. <laughs> uh, I think I need four screws. How do I make screws? I think I need to saw the rods in half. Is that right? Into iron bolts? <laughs> Whoops, lurk. <laughs> just just ignore it's made out of blocks <laughs> look we're 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 um this is first person factorio <laughs> this is like satisfactory but uh more detailed with custom machinery and builds uh so i think it's two bolts per screw so that's two i think we need four screws I think that's right. Uh, check the time. Oh, it's night. It's sleep. <laughs> uh, wait, what happened? I was inside that block. That's weird. You played Factorio for one hour, didn't get used to it, and moved on. Oh, no. Factorio is a great game. Although, uh, it is in some circles known as Cracktorio because of how addictive it is. So, maybe it's for the best to you didn't get into it. You might still be playing it. Low graphic sims. Uh, I mean, there are villagers in here. They don't do much, but. 
Uh, I know something I should like, but couldn't enjoy the graphics. That's fair. Yeah. Um, Satisfactory has better graphics. Is first, I think maybe also optionally third person, but it's like character based. You go around. Um, you like land on a planet, and some megacorp has sent you to a planet, and all this like gather resources for us and build a factory to send things to us. You were playing with that with a group a few weeks ago? Um, I think it was about a little over a year ago I was playing Satisfactory. And what I realized was that I, I liked that, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> I wanted to do more like factory design stuff, but at a higher level of detail. And that's what I really was getting into, like, create. All right, Foxy, we'll be here. Uh, so how do we make screws? Is it a file? Yeah. So two, two iron bolts and a file. There we go. That file is almost done for. 19%. We're making an XP drain. I'm tempted on opening Mind Over Magic, but also I should sleep. That's fair. Sleep is good. Um, I think, do we not have enough rods now? No, we need two more rods. Okay, so I need two more iron ingots. Fortunately, I have a good number. And then file. So wasteful. <laughs> you take a you take an iron ingot and you file it down until it's a rod. Uh, we should get shavings too, right? Then we can melt them back down. Okay, well, guess not. Maybe our level of technology is too low for that. Besides, I was also planning on doing my ticket today, but now engineering manager is like, I need you to help with this other thing. Okay. Why would you want to do a ticket? <laughs> All right, so we have an XP drain. Uh, and we need another bucket. Now, how do we make a bucket? Oh yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not three pieces of iron. It's six pieces of iron to make a bucket. Can't be easy, just because I didn't want to be at the end of the sprint and be like, I couldn't finish it. It's fair. If it was up to me, I would be teamless and ticketless. <laughs> so you want to be a software architect. Oh, rip hammer. Pretty much, yep. All right, what kind of hammer are we gonna make? I guess we'll make a bronze one, because I have so much bronze. Now, I forget if the stick goes, I wanna see the stick goes on the right. Is it like this? It is, all right, I did it. Uh, one reason I passed on the opportunity to be a tech lead. Yeah, that is kind of a different direction. Kind of individual contributor versus um, managery kind of role. And <laughs> so that's how you make a bucket in this pack. Uh, you manage people, not my cup of tea. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a different kind of thing. All right, so now I have two buckets, so that should have completed the quest. It did. Hey, look, I could get a book. World Domination with Open Blocks. Oh no, it's not a choice. I get all of them. I get all the things. I want all the things. Uh, this seems bad. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know why I was temporarily blind. But uh, there we go. All right, so what is world domination with open blocks? It's 104 pages is what it is. All 
All right, I'm gonna put this right there. We'll look at that later. Uh, back when I was in banking, I was a research lead. At least I only had two people under under me. But then, but would have been zero. But choose your battles. Yeah. All right. So I think what we can do is we can put the seared tank. Um, maybe I'm not gonna put it next to all the machinery. Put it somewhere safe. And then XP drain. There we go. Yeah, I did it. All right, that was uh, 1.96 kiloliters of experience, apparently. We're gonna need some more tanks <laughs> because that's like that's half full at five levels. Okay, well, cool. We need better tanks, is what we need. Okay, well that was a quest. Um, but what we really should do, let's see, a couple of things. We should go back to the farm and check on things. Uh, and we should do quests in Steam, in the Steam Age, so we can eventually get to low voltage and have electricity. Uh, so, in that vein, compressing stuff. Steam compressor. So we need pistons, and a bronze hull, and small bronze fluid pipes. The good news is, I think we have... We don't have the hull anymore, I used it to make the other steam, uh, the coal, the coal boiler. Uh, and we only have two pipes here, but we have lots of bronze. And I did make some more pistons since I used some before. We don't need these iron bars. Let's stick these somewhere. Um, let's put this dirt away while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Yeah, so this is done with processing all of this uh, cassiterite. Let's process the iron ore. Get that going. Um, and so I think I bookmarked the compressor. So we need the bronze hull. So we need, oh, it's not the brick bronze hull, it's just the bronze hull. So we just need bronze plates. We need nine of them. We can make six. There we go. But this is why I made like 150 or whatever bronze. <laughs> because I knew we were gonna go through a lot. R, click, um, it's nine, right? Well, I made one extra, that's fine. Hammer, plates, bronze hull, cool. And then, for the compressor, we also need six small bronze fluid pipes. And that is just more plate. Um, six plate. So there we go. Four. There we go. And click, click. And a compressor. We can compress items. <laughs> why? Why is my screen going black? It's something I want to know. Not sure what that's about. Okay, so compressor can go there. Now we did complete the quest, right? There we go. We get some coins. 
Coins go in the box. Pass the night. It's just a bunch of nasty, nasty stuff doesn't spawn outside. And then, uh, what did we get? So we got the coins. And that unlocks more things. We can see um, this. It's about time to make some steel. Look in the multi-block ghouls quest tab and build a bricked blast furnace. Return, return here once you've made at least eight steel ingots. And then we get some bread to pork chops and we can pick either five iron ore, that's nothing, or a loot bag. Might take the loot bag. All right, so multi-block goals. So now we can see this finally. Time to get some steel. All right. <laughs> so it wants us to collect cobblestone and flint and clay. Uh, I mean, we have that. We'll get credit. Check. Good. Cobblestone. Check. Uh, how much clay do I have? I don't know if I have a thousand clay. We might need to go get more clay. Yeah, I only have 294. Alright, so we need to go get clay. What else do we need here? It wants us to have 40, 56 iron to make iron plate. 56, and we have 43. So the good news, <laughs> we're processing more. We actually have more iron here. We probably have more iron here too, right? Let's see, iron? A little bit. Or FE. Magnetite ore. Yeah, magnetite ore. These can be processed into iron, but not as efficiently, I think, right now. Like we can smelt them, or we can put them in the smeltery, or we can macerate them. Oh, do we get four? No, we only get two for the ones that we have. But this stuff can't be put directly into the tinker smelter. I think we can macerate it again, but I think this is this is the same deal where yeah we could wash it into magnetite dust, but the magnetite dust can't go into um, it can go into a blast furnace. Yeah, there's some options there, but that's fine. We don't need that much iron. So what we'll do, put that in there. I think I'll put the rest of the iron ore in there. I'll get this going kind of like this. There we go. So we'll macerate again the crushed iron ore into uh, the dust, and pure piles of dust, and then we can wash that and put that in the smeltery and we'll get a bunch of iron. Uh, but for now, we need to go get some clay, because I don't have enough. Fortunately, clay is pretty abundant, if we just kind of look around for it. Um, by the shore. Actually, there's a bunch of gravel here. I should take note of that for the next time I need a bunch of gravel. Uh, clay around here? Maybe. If not, there's clay kind of, like, scattered around the shore over over uh, by the other house. Yeah, like there's some clay right there. So we need like 800 clay. So about 10 stacks would be uh, 640. Not the greatest experience to kind of shovel through things while underwater. So let's not do that. Oh yeah. 
so I was mentioning earlier in the stream, I did go find a place where there was some lava underground. Because that was something I had not yet done um, at, during the last stream. And so, in the hill, going down, I did find some lava down at kind of Y12. Uh, oh, and that reminds me. So, we have a bunch of diamonds. Like, we found diamonds on the last stream. Diamond ore, which you just put in the furnace. I did uh, add a diamond to the pick. Um, just to be able to do that. More durability, and it increases the mining level, which means we can actually... I dropped a piece of lava here, uh, and we can actually mine it. We need an obsidian for something. Oh yeah, to make a better tank. To make a better tank, we needed uh, obsidian dust to make a, a, some kind of glass or something. Anyway, so there, we did that. It's in one of the bags. It must be in the miner's bag. All right, so we have <laughs> a very little amount of clay. Um, we need a lot more. Uh, we'll look around here a little bit more and then we'll get back to the house. And that way we can check in on the farm. even take a, a tick of damage thought I was about to all right let's uh, head back towards the house all right and we can uh, finally eat our delighted meal that we got as a quest for reward I should make this road wider. <laughs> I um, was kind of running low on gravel. So I decided to kind of stop where I was. Alright, so we're going to check on the farm. How are things down here? What did we see? Uh, right, right, right. So basically, for these crops, we were waiting for them to get full size. So that we could put down the part in the middle. Oh, I, I guess that's true for all of these. So, uh, the main thing I want to do, the, that's interesting, the potato crops look pretty cool growing on the crop sticks, but I wanted to do this. So we can get some uh, crossbreeding going on and maybe get some oak bonsai. And then we just want some other uh, random seeds here from these.
Oops. Did not mean to right click the uh, the wheat there. Oh, almost enough actually. Do I have any more crop sticks in here? Nope. Okay. Well. sure do we sleep wait what does that say <laughs> so before before the break we got his message perhaps it's time to stop playing and take a break um, I'm assuming that's scripted into the pack to display at some amount of time in uh, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly when though so I see up in the the top left up, up there it says we are on Minecraft Gear 1, day 100, 317. So we're not a full year. So we started year 1, day 0. We've not completed a full year, Minecraft year. <laughs> 365 days. I don't know if there are leap years in this, but whatever. Ah, uh, oh, it's a weed. That's unfortunate. All right, and we got, we got an acacia. So that's real good. Uh, so it's probably... I don't know what that is, but it's not what we're after. Let's let's check it out. What are you? You are. It's a. This is a potato. All right. I don't want a potato. Um. I don't have any more crop sticks, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna break this because I have to do like the cross thing in order to get the cross. Yeah, there you go. Like that. Take a quick peek to see if anything else is happening. That's probably a weed, yeah. Okay, so that is gonna be something. That's gonna be something. That's gonna be something, what is this? This is a raspberry, all right. Uh, it's a wheat. This is a weed. Now we have two crop sticks. I can put that back there. Um, we will definitely need more crop sticks. Ooh, what are you? This is a jungle bonsai. Woo. All right. Um, so probably what we eventually will want to do is we'll have like an area for crossbreeding things and then we'll have an area for like just like here are the crops that we want to grow a bunch of um yeah oh wait 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 i don't need to carry around this plant lens with me let's put that back in the box we'll come back later whatever happens will happen get some seeds uh, right so we're gonna look for clay and there should be some clay along the coast over here we have found some along here before it's probably more okay I think that was a big deposit of, of clay maybe or is that a creeper hole I don't remember why is there a witch Uh, looks like there's a bunch of hostile mobs. Maybe down there? Maybe there's a dark spot. There's a little clay. I think that's leftovers. Yeah. Ah, here's some more. I remembered right. So in the future, we will be able to automate the production of a lot of raw resources, things like clay and other things. Um, 
probably through a few different methods, but the one that I'm thinking of is through uh, bees. Like you can breed different kinds of bees and those will have different byproducts you can get from processing the, the comb produced by the bees. But that'll be a little ways away. All right, Tigger's backpack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost ten. So that is, uh, we just need a few more stacks. I like this sparkly. There, there's a, a curious hive. We don't have a scoop right now. Um, I think there was one at one of the villages I visited over yonder. I just didn't have any inventory space to carry it with me. And I was like, we're not actually going to do anything with bees, so I'll just leave it over there. Uh, until we were ready. I think that's something where we want to at least have electricity. Maybe even get into medium voltage, which is the next tier after low voltage. That was based on the uh, the V guide that I was looking at for this pack uh, in the wiki. Um, something else to look forward to a little bit past that is uh, applied energistics and being able to have a computer that we can stick all of our stuff in rather than having chests and drawers and all that. Just have a big computer to store everything electronically which will require a lot of power. There's some more clay over there. Um, I think once we're at the point where the Digger's backpack is full and we start filling our own inventory. That will probably be enough for now. Uh, clay. Like that. Might as well finish this spot though. A wild buildum appears in chat. All right, let me get that last little bit of clay. There we go. And get back to the house. And it'll be time for another break. Actually, maybe we'll have enough time to go back to the uh, the tree base. I was looking roughly there, but I think we're good. Maybe. Shovel's almost done. Um, go back to the tree and make sure that we have uh, at least pick up the uh, iron that we need to bring back over here. Some re oh, yes. I have not been filling this up, so we ran out of charcoal for the steam boilers. Ah, it's not charcoal, that's a sleeping bag. Uh, Alright. Well. Okay. Uh, what we can do... It's not even enough iron to bother running over there. Let's uh, let's take a look, quick look at what we need to do to make the um, to be prepared, right? To make steel. That's what we're trying to go for, right? So we need 
uh, this stuff. We need four furnaces, which is, I think, what the cobblestone and flint are for. And then we make the iron furnaces. That's why we need the plates. And then, uh, optionally, we need all these dusts. We don't actually need those. We do need, almost certainly, um, the only thing we actually need is the bricked blast furnace. But of course, this needs fire bricks. It's a controller block. Okay. But we need 36 fire bricks. 30, 36 fire bricks. Each one is made from six bricks plus dust. Gypsum dust, fire bricks made from this. This is why we need the compressor. Fire clay dust, which is made from clay dust and brick dust. So we need brick dust and clay dust. 